And I, and I think in that day, probably at the end of it, the old gene will be looking up from down there, up there and looking down and saying, Alec, oh, like I've seen it before. Because we played so well that day and missed so many chances. It, it got to say to yourself, for goodness sake, sure we are not going to lose this one. Because that can happen, you know, you play a game of football and you get so many chances, sometimes they're not going to go in and you end up losing them or you end up drawing them or something. But fortunately, we managed to squeeze home with Ryan Giggs headed goal in the first half. But I have to say, I really did enjoy the performance. We played some beautiful football, exciting stuff, and um, very, very unfortunate only to score the one goal. Again, wants to show dummies before actually turning the opposite way, does Peter Beagre. As he does there, hang on cue, away by Irwin. Here's Giggs. Listen to the excitement around Old Trafford when he gets the ball. Is it any wonder why? Brilliant from Giggs, all the way, just falling to the ground at the last minute. But that is a real sign that he's in the mood. And that's only good news for the fans who have packed in to Old Trafford. Tickets at a premium. Here's Bruce. And he was hesitating, waiting for the bounce to come his way. Cotty's in here. And Schmeichel blocks him. And he's furious with Bruce. Well, Bruce just hesitated, wasn't sure whether to attack the ball on the full or whether or not to wait for the bounce. And uh, once he was caught in two minds, Coddy was away. There's no better man at narrowing the angle than the big day. And it's just a corner rather than anything more serious for Everton. Here's Angel. Oh, and Schmeichel again to the rescue. A pat on the back for Angel. And it looked like the first goal was going the way of the visitors. That's a good header and a lovely reaction save. Here's Hughes, though, doing well. Cantona. Looking up all the time, weighing up the options. Giggs! Lovely ball from Cantona. Giggs immediately thanking him for the service. His header just looping over the top. United fans sending up the volume. Hopefully to herald the opening goal for their side. Parker. Kanchelskis hugging the right touchline. Cantona's made a move away. Kanchelskis has got away from his marker. There is Cantona. Southall blocking his path. It was certainly a good header from Cantona. But Southall was in the right place at the right time. And it was perhaps an easier save than had his positioning been a little more central. Just managed to get in the way. The move not over yet, though. Kanchelskis has Parker to his right. Gone alone. And again, Southall's exemplary positioning, making it look easy. United very much now on the ascendancy. And the noise is as a result of that early pressure. Cantona! Off the line by Ebrill, Southall was beaten there, no question. And twice Cantona's been denied. Here's Kunchelskis. Had he taken it too far? Well, he certainly maybe had done, but Southall, much easier to gather that one than the previous effort, which had him beaten. Giggs is driven corner, Cantona rising superbly, Southall did his best. Paul Parker, Ince coming to make it easy for the defender. 
And now asking someone to do the same for him. Pallister. Parker. Kinchelskis out to the right side. Goes instead towards Keane. Cantona used himself by going away from Keane. Keane in, Giggs! And there's the goal that has seemed coming for a while. 27 minutes. And at last, it's celebration time. Giggs and Ince with that famous routine. It was a very simple goal, really. Cantona and Keane on the edge of the area. And Ablett not sure who to go with. Keane, there was Giggs, and Southall can't get that one out. It's a good header from Giggs, not only the power, but the direction to take it away from the outstretched arm. 1-0, very much a product of a youth system which Matt Busby himself would have been proud. And here come a few more young players, Paul Ince to Roy Keane, looking for more. Irwin. Lovely one-two with Hughes, just by the upright. Terrific speed of the break. Irwin must have travelled 60, 70 yards to get on the end of that move. One end to the other. And can Chelsea can bring it away, Ince. Well, that's the end of an absorbing 45 minutes. And the only surprise, really, is there's only one goal to show for all the efforts. And the biggest surprise, I suppose, is that it came from the head of Ryan Giggs after 27 minutes. Not renowned for his heading, maybe, but it's a healthy enough scoreline. United 1, Everton 0. It's Old Trafford's biggest crowd of the season, some 44,750. One can only imagine how many thousands more would have loved to have been here on this emotional occasion. And it's a half-time score of 1-0 but the promise of much more to come. And that's offside against Roy Keane. United again falling an Everton move very early on and come away with the ball themselves. Giggs, Cantona, still. Oh, that was tremendous from Garrett Cantona. A turn and shot all in one movement. Appeared to have done everything right. But the right-hand post said no way. Look at that. A trap, a turn, a shot. Looked all to be correct. But the post just not playing ball on this occasion. And still United press. And still Cantona looking for the ball. Wants it from Konchelskis. Konchelskis alone off the bar. Ablett got the deflection. Hughes the foul. And it's still 1-0. Showing great determination. What else would you expect, though, from him? Here's Konchelskis. Chance to get round the back. Right across the face. Giggs! Never quite settled himself. And, of course, it was on the right, not the left side. Bruce. Lovely ball. Giggs. Cantona. Won't come down. And again, a last-ditch challenge, this time from Neil Moore. is the only thing stopping Manchester United from doubling the scoreline. The first time ball in. That's what really opened up the Everton defence, but Moore was back defending well. Just not giving them a second's breather. Ince. Pallister. Defenders supporting the attackers. Oh, brilliant from Giggs. Better from Cantona. Pallister. Well, if the finish would have matched the approach, we would have had a goal of the season. No question about it. It's very rare that a back heel is seen in the game to this effect. But when you see two back-to-back, -back, you know it's a sign of a team who are very much in form. Pallister's shooting. Bruce in the way. Kinchelskis has got round Ablett. Cantona, Hughes. Cantona, surely, oh, Southall, palming it over the top. And Cantona shakes the head, as well he might, and wonders whether he's ever going to get on the score sheet at all today. Hughes losing control under the attentions of Jackson, and that's a brilliant save from Southall. Bruce it was this time, here's Giggs. 
Players running to his left and right. And he's using them to a good effect all the way. Well, that would have been a goal to treasure for Ryan Giggs. The more the game goes on, the more you feel that it is destined to end. 1-0, maybe not. Cantona this time, surely. No. It's the post again. And theatrical little clasp of the arms by Cantona. As if to say, it's not my day. Hughes his ball in. Cantona looked up. Southall beaten. And again the post to his rescue. And he wants it again. But uh, Snowden will make sure he doesn't get it on this occasion. Whistles all round, and that's it. The end of a glorious performance from Manchester United. It may only be 1-0 when they come to look back on the scoreline in a few years' time. But the United fans who packed Old Trafford to the rafters today will remember a game rich in entertainment that's been a fitting tribute to Sir Matt Busby.